So um, this video, I want to just say that this is not factual whatsoever. This is all just my opinion. So I'm not saying that everything I'm saying is right. This is just what I think. And I'm not trying to give hate or condemn anyone, but there is something I did want to talk about. I actually debated all last night if I wanted to make this video. And that was because a lot of things hit me last night. So yesterday, as of the time of the recording, a video was posted on a political commentary channel by the name of Hunter Avalon. Now, for many years, he's been uh, talking about his point of views on many different aspects of the right and in the left, the LGBT community, and so on, and so on. Though his views have changed during the years, progressed, and he had this new line of thinking, um, he always usually um, stayed consistent to his main core belief is that he definitely tends to be more of a right-winger than a left-winger, but recently has, has a shift on what he thinks about the LBT community and transgender community. And yesterday, he released a video saying how pastors were blaming the LBT community for the coronavirus, which is insane. <laughs> I'm not making this up. Actually, I'll leave a link in the video below if you do want to see that. I do recommend it. I do believe his channel is very informal and it's really funny at times. It's just a guy saying what he believes. More, on a more political stand. No, but, um, basically this video was just pastors saying that the LBT community is at fault and saying why he disagreed with it. And that's so do I. I think it's ridiculous when you blame any type of group for the fault of something that wasn't clearly their fault or was just na a natural cause. And, um, because of that, I actually was reminded about a lot of shit in my own past, and I uh, actually submit a comment within that video. And I normally don't do this, by the way. I don't usually comment on videos, but this is what I said. As a Christian myself, I've always hated when pastors would get on the LBT, the LBGT community, and how my stepdad and dad would always say that I was not a true Christian because I said I thought I might be bisexual. We always preach about how God loves everyone equally. In the Bible, Jesus is associated with non-believers. So telling me that you will go to hell for being gay, for me, defeats the whole purpose of God and Jesus saying, love your neighbors like you love yourself and treat others the way you want to be treated. Change my mind. And honestly, I did not think anyone would give a shit about my comments because I'm usually that person that would be lucky to get two likes. This God... 158 likes within the first 11 hours, which is a lot for me, because I only have, like, what, two comments I've ever made in history that ever got, like, over a thousand likes? I'm not that, I'm not a person that makes good comments. But it also got 104 comments of these people that agreed and a lot more disagreed with me saying uh, things like, wait, so are you saying that homosexuality is not a sin? Or are you saying that Jesus doesn't care about sin? LOL. Religiously speaking, you will go to hell for being gay or any other sin provided you do not accept Jesus. I will admit I agree with that. Why would, you keep, why would Jesus keep forgiving you if you deliberately disobey him? That's, that is false, period. Do yourself a favor by reading the actual Bible. And, um, I could keep going and going and reading all these comments. Let's just say, there's a lot of them, of people that did not agree with me by me saying that. And a lot of people kept saying that, yes, being gay is a sin. Yes, you will go to hell for being gay. And then one person just kept constantly, and I kept responding to this person quite a bit, saying how much I was wrong. And completely misunderstanding what I was saying. And one person who actually responded, who was an, who admitted to being an atheist, said that he used to be a Christian until the age of 16 when he started to be more open-minded about other things and became an atheist. And a lot of his family disowned him and pretty much hated him because of this. And this same guy that was criticizing me started criticizing him, saying that anything he said made was worthless and meant nothing because he's an atheist. And the guy responded basically saying, you're the reason why I don't like Christians, because of this way of thinking and how Christians do this. And the guy just kept going and going. In fact, one Christian, which I believe was the last comment that was said on this post, 
ended up calling him out saying basically that um good christians uh don't do that oh my goodness if you want to be a good christian that is not how you should do it at all and yeah basically it and um like i said so many comments disagree and it got me thinking because i didn't think this line of thinking with christianity actually existed anymore because all the christians i was around tend to just believe in that, you know, everyone deserves equal rights and God loves all. Until this happened. And it really amazed me about how many people, a Christians, still held this, this grudge on gay people. And it made me upset a little bit because, I mean, I say, I tell people I'm bisexual. But really, I'm kind of more undecided I will admit I didn't grow up properly with the right talk of the birds and the bees or about gay people at all. It wasn't until I was a freshman when I actually fully understood what that, all of that meant, simply because no one ever talk, talked to me about it. I was never taught about this stuff because no one ever wanted to talk to me. I was like 11 years old and a King of Hill episode was on and they kept using the word gay and I kept asking, what does that mean? What are they talking about? What does that mean? Because I didn't understand any of it. I didn't get, I didn't know what that word meant. And no one told me. No one wanted to tell me. I kept asking, what is gay? What does that mean? What are they talking about? No one wanted to talk to me about it. And when I realized that my own sexuality was kind of messing me up and I wasn't exactly thinking right based on my Christian belief, I started asking questions like, do you really go to gay? Go to hell for being gay? And my stepdad was like, yeah, you know, true. I mean, it's a sin. God made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve, which is probably the most common thing I hear Christians say when it comes to that argument. And um, for three years, I tried so hard to just like guys because of that mentality. From freshman year to junior year, I was not trying to look at girls, even though I knew that a part of me kind of had this thing. And that, like, and I didn't know what to do because my religion said being gay is a sin. And it really bugged me because I couldn't get away from this mentality. And eventually I was like, can I really change this? Because when I tell people that I don't know exactly where I'm going with my sexuality, and I'm a Christian, they always say the same thing, that, you know, I'm going against my religion, or this was something that happened to me because of my past, and I'm like, you guys realize, I actually tried to go with my religion, I actually tried not to look at girls because of my religion, and it's kind of why I have my own confusion when it comes to my sexuality. And it, it just, it messes me up. But I'm on the but I decided that if God really loved me, he wouldn't send me to hell because of this confusion I have. The Bible says and states that you need to be saved. You need to be born again and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior to go to heaven. That's it. And that is why there are people like Hunter Avalon, and even Markiplier, who says this is why they don't really, they say this is a problem with Christianity, is that you people can go around with all this stuff because all there is to it is being saved, so you don't go to heaven, and that could be a fear factor, because if you don't believe, you're going to go to hell. And I can agree with that. As a Christian, I can agree where they're coming from. And that is kind of a, you could use Christianity as a fear factor. But for me... I'm just accepting. I like to accept all people despite what they believe. If you're a feminist, if you're a liberal, if you're a Satanist, if you're gay, if you're trans, I'm not going to hate you. Like I said, I don't hate on belief. I hate on the actions based off the belief. If you're a feminist who wants equality, well, guess what? I may not identify as a feminist, but I agree. Women and men should have equal rights no matter what. You know, I mean, obviously, uh, equal opportunity doesn't equal outcome, but I believe that a man and a woman can do the same things. 
But if you're just going, if you're a feminist and just hate all men because they're white and they're men, well, then that's when I'm going to have a little bit of a problem because I don't think that's right. I try to live my life like Jesus would, and I believe Jesus would love people despite what they believe, and instead of condemning them and saying, you're going to hell because you're gay, you're an atheist, so your meaning means nothing, I think he would show them love. And that's what drove me to Christianity to begin with, because I saw how happy and loving they were. These were some of the most happiest of people I ever met. And that's what made me draw to Christianity, because I wanted to be just like that. I wanted to be happy. I wanted to spread love. And that's what Christianity is. It's spreading God's love to other people, despite who these people are. And if it wasn't for that love, I wouldn't want nothing to do with Christianity. Christianity, it's just, it's not just condemning people or saying they are going to hell based on this or that. Basic Christianity is to show love to live as Jesus would, and he wouldn't just hate on people. He would just, he would love them and try to help them. And a lot of things about the comments that were given to me was that a lot of them said that being gay was a sin. I never once said in my comments or any of my replies that being gay wasn't a sin, because that wasn't the point, whether being gay was a sin or not in Christianity. The point was, I was speaking, is that whether or not you go to hell for being gay. God forgave a lot of people. He forgave Paul, which is one of the most biggest figures that people use from the Bible. And he was a murderer. He murdered Christians. And then he became one. When you're gay, you're not even hurting people. So if he can forgive murderers, I'm pretty damn well straight sure that he will forgive gay people. Because when you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, your sins are forgiven. So the sin of being gay would be forgiven. Going by the sinners that all pastors and Christians teach me. That would make sense. Christianity is to spread love. This, whatever, that person that kept giving all that hate in the comments, this is just the definition of being an asshole. And you don't have to agree with everyone. You don't have to agree with the lifestyle of a gay person. But you don't have to just condemn them for being gay. But will you go to hell for being gay? I don't believe so. I believe that God would forgive you. I believe God loves all people. God doesn't love us for who we are. God loves us despite who we are. And I think that is something a lot of us tend to forget. Because God doesn't have to. But he wants to. And we don't deserve it. And Christians like this... Don't, don't, this, this is why people, and a lot of gay people don't want to believe in God or don't become Christians because of this level of thinking. Not all Christians are like that. I just want to say, I don't believe every single Christian is like that. And I don't believe this guy or whoever this person is has bad intentions. I think he's going based on what he believes in. And I don't have any hate to this guy. So don't give this guy hate. I just believe that a good Christian would be loving to all, and a good Christian will show love to all, and I believe that it would be accepting. Because there's a difference between accepting someone and approving of someone. Because I have my own thoughts and belief when it comes to the LBT community and being trans and all of that. But I don't think that a gay person would go to hell. And you don't have to agree with me. You don't. But just... You can respect my opinions just as much as I respect yours, just as much as I respect these people. And that's that. That's that's I just that's all I want to say. It's not gonna be really much more to say it. I just wanted to get that out of the way. So yeah, I'm not gonna make videos much on this. I don't really like talking about religion and politics. As a Christian, I don't think religious should be in politics, just as much as I don't think politics should be in entertainment. There's a time and place for either of those things. And honestly, I just don't like talking about stuff like that often. So, yeah, just wanted to get that out of the way. So, I honestly don't know how to end this video. I guess saying that atheist, Christian, feminist, leftist, liberal, whatever you are, you don't have to agree with each other. Just don't condemn anyone. Because it just makes you in the wrong. Christian or not. And I'm pretty sure God wouldn't want that either.
Till next time.